Tony, I'd like to thank you for allowing me to be part of the simulcast here in the United States um, so that I can speak to some of the parents that are involved in the uh, decision about the policy change being proposed. I want to share what happens to Boy Scouts when those policies do change and share the, uh, the situation in Canada, where we are today with Scouts Canada. In fact, it's only called Scouts Canada because we've dropped the term boys because we do now allow boys and girls in the Scouts. We also have homosexual leaders in the Scouts. In Canada, we can't discriminate based on gender. As you can see, Boy Scouts in Canada is no longer Boy Scouts since those policy changes have been made. Scouts in Canada has been eroded by two concepts, tolerance and diversity. And those concepts taken too far um, really are what's allowed females, homosexuals, transgenders into the Scouts and accepted. In Canada, we're now talking about six genders. And at some point, those will all have to be welcomed into the Scouts in the name of tolerance and diversity. One of the most drastic consequences of what has occurred in Canada is the decline in membership. Scouts Canada peaked at about 260,000 people. In 2012, it was down to 100,000. That's a decline of 63%. Drastic. Drastic in the sense that it's now preventing boys from being able to be trained up for manhood. As one father related to me, I won't put my boys in scouts. Um, they're being put at risk in some situations. And also what they learn in scouts is not much different than what they learn in public education or on television. He said Scouts Canada has become irrelevant because of those policy changes. So Tony, I want to talk about protecting children for a moment, protecting your children, Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts. In Canada, we have a very strong system of police background checks done on every potential volunteer and every potential leader. But even with that strong system in place, there are always pedophiles that will slip through the process. Part of the reason is that they never get reported, never get convicted for their crime. I think we need to understand that every sexual assault on a boy by a, an adult male is a homosexual assault. And I'm not saying that all homosexuals are pedophiles that assault children, but I am saying that every sexual assault on a boy by a male is a homosexual assault. So when we're talking about developing policy or changing policy, I believe it's incumbent on us to take every opportunity and every possibility that we can in there to protect the child. So Tony, why in America would uh, any consideration be given to a policy that might provide an opportunity for an openly homosexual scout to take advantage of a young scout? Thank you, Tony, for allowing me to be part of the simulcast. My prayer is that all Americans will continue to stand with the Scouts. I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, to obey the Scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight.